Where does the time go? I was lucky to be Jennifer's first chair in 2017 when she became president and CEO of the Chamber. I can honestly say the two of us learned together and we had a great working relationship. I also consider Jennifer a good friend. She's honest, well-intentioned and hardworking. Jennifer, you'll be missed. But moving on to the next phase of your life will be both rewarding and exciting. More time with the grandkids, more time in Vernon with Grant. Life doesn't get any better. I know you'll enjoy yourself. One piece of advice. Wine o'clock is now whenever the heck you say it is. All the best to you and your family. Hi, Jennifer. I just wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you on 13 years of dedicated service to the St. Albert and District Chamber of Commerce. It's really been a pleasure to have the opportunity to work with you in your capacity at the Chamber uh, in more recent years as President of the Chamber. Uh, you're going to be missed, uh, but knowing you, I know you're going to continue to be very active in our community. Congratulations on a very well-deserved retirement. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, congratulations on your retirement. I am uh, very happy for you that you're retiring, but I'm really sad for our Federation that you're retiring. Uh, we're all going to miss you. Um, the amount of effort that you put into being part of the Alberta Chambers Federation, uh, being president of the Alberta Chamber Executives, your active advocacy at the federal, provincial, and municipal level is what makes your chamber strong. Um, the Alberta Chambers of Commerce support that you've shown during our events, particularly um, uh, inviting us to be there to moderate your some of your events, to participate in your events, you always thought of the Alberta Chambers of Commerce and involving us. You ensured active participation in Alberta Chamber events, particularly those ones that had an advocacy bend to them. I will certainly miss our chats. I'll certainly miss our intense discussions. Um, and all the best to you and Grant and your retire and you in your retirement. Um, you're my favorite. Hi, Jennifer. Congratulations on your retirement. After 13 years with the St. Albert Chamber of Commerce, you leave some pretty big shoes to fill. So thank you for your selfless commitment to the uh, business community in St. Albert. You will be missed. So thank you for everything that you've done and I wish you all the best. I was asked to say a few words about the relationship between the City of St. Albert and the Chamber of Commerce. And although I can um, absolutely say it's strong relationship and we're very proud of it. I would have to add that has a lot to do with Jen McCurdy herself. She has assembled a team at the Chamber of Commerce that works very well with our city administration and then of course she uh, and the board have engaged with city council this term like no other. I think uh, a lot of the positive relationships that we have formed with the Chamber of Commerce can be entirely attributed to Jen her personality, her caring nature, and her excitement and passion for this city. So Jen, uh, we're going to miss you a whole bunch um, on council and through administration, but at the same time, I know we're gonna see you elsewhere in the city volunteering and be a part of our community. So have a great retirement, uh, we'll miss you. I'm just so happy to be able to take part in celebration of Jennifer's years with the Chamber. Jennifer and I knew each other for quite a few years before she came to work with the Chamber of Commerce. I thought very highly of her at that time. It was just a natural. I know she's such a hard worker. She first came on part-time and then it became full-time and then we had staff working under her. Over the years she has just progressed her abilities to lead and to manage. The staff have all done wonderful with Jennifer as their leader. And finally, I asked her to be the Vice President of Operations. 
because uh, at that time, Jennifer was pretty hands-on with, you know, events, membership. So it was a wonderful working relationship. I'm so glad that she was able to take on this position. I think that she has left her mark. I know that she will leave her mark wherever she goes from here. She's that kind of a person. She's spectacular. And she does so much with the community. I mean, you just, she's not up there bragging about it, but she's out there working hard with her rotary and the um, arts and heritage, just to name a few. So Jennifer, <laughs> enjoy your retirement. <laughs> I'm surprised that you're doing this, but you know, you're gonna love it. So that's great. Hi, it's my pleasure to uh, join you and talk a little bit about the fabulous Jennifer McCurdy, uh, who's retiring, which I'm very sad about, but I'm very happy for her. And, you know, I got to know Jennifer uh, before I was elected when I was at Losica and she was in membership and I was struck back then just how incredibly kind and compassionate she is. And, and that never changed. And in her new role as CEO, she brought all that joy and grace and compassion and empathy, but also added to it incredible um, expertise. She is whip smart and uh, I think just her work demonstrates that everything from the advocacy she does uh, with businesses or spotlighting businesses to the very challenging launch of the farmer's market this summer uh, during COVID conditions, which she and her team pulled off beautifully. And so I'm incredibly sad that she's leaving, but I am so thankful um, for everything that she's done. I wish her well. I have so enjoyed working with her. Um, you know, you meet a lot of people in your life, but the ones that have that joy and there's just something special and that's Jennifer. And so uh, again, I'm incredibly thankful and wish her all the best. I hope she has a great time. Enjoy, relax, and thank you for everything that you've done. Congratulations on your retirement, Jennifer McCurdy. It's truly a reason for celebration. If I, as I look back at the time I've known you through the Chamber and of course through Rotary, uh, the one thing that stands out so much to me is your ability to get people involved, your, people, your ability to engage and inspire. I'm truly appreciative of all that you've done for the community, for my store, and really helping me become a stronger member of our community. Congratulations, uh, Jennifer, and I wish you the very best going forward. Oh, congratulations, Jennifer. I'm so excited for you. Advice on retirement. Take time for you. Be selfish. You've been, all your life, you've been in service, whether it's been to the community or if it's been to your family and your friends. You've been giving and giving and giving. For the next few months, take time for you. Be selfish. Read a book, go for a walk, sleep in, hug your grandkids, but just take care of you. And I can hardly wait to sit outside with you and have a glass of wine. Congratulations. Hi everyone. I wish, or more correctly, we all wish that we could be there in person. Now I'll confess that I have mixed feelings as I send this message on the occasion of Jennifer McCurdy's retirement. Jennifer, for 13 years, you've been the face and spirit of the chamber in your community and the driving personality behind the St. Albert and District Chamber of Commerce. You're a strong advocate for your business community and also for Albertan businesses. As we all know, a strong business base creates a strong foundation for everyone. 2020 has been a challenging year for all of us. I appreciate all that you and your chamber have done as part of the chamber network during this time. Leaving at this time must be bittersweet as I know that you've thrown your energies and passion into this role. Nevertheless, I know that you have many things you still want to accomplish. And of course, you and Grant will have plans to spend more time together, either in St. Albert or in Vernon doing the things that you've put off over the last few years. Your family will be glad to see more of you. From all of us at the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, know that you'll be missed. We wish you all the best for all the journeys that lie ahead. Jennifer, I was new to the scene in 2017, and I was so encouraged by how welcoming and approachable that you were. You've been engaged, supportive, and collaborative in any dealings that we have had. And I've appreciated your presence at the Villeneuve Lemming Network table, and I will continue to count on your support in the future. I hope that you are able to enjoy an open schedule and some rest and relaxation. Please be very careful. Some of the busiest people I know are retired. So please be selective with how you spend your time. We all know how 
hard you've worked and how much you've earned this. So all the best. Thank you. Well, Jen, I was asked to provide you words of wisdom, and there's a little bit of irony in that because why would I ever provide you words of wisdom? But here we go. What does retirement mean, Jennifer? Well, R is for relax with Grant. E is for enjoy yourself. T, try something new. I, ingest a lot of wine. R, remember to play. E, expect lots of travel and adventures. M, make more wine with friends like me. E, embrace the freedoms and possibilities. N, the one that's my favorite, nap without guilt. And T, take time for just you. If you do all of these things, Jennifer, you will be retired. I'll see you in Vernon.